One of the great strengths of Schoology is the ability to take the work that you work so hard on as a teacher in one school year and make it accessible to you in following school years to look back on, improve upon, and then reuse with your students. Uh, an example of this is the ability to take a course from, uh, put it in your resources and then bring those resources directly into a new course. So let's talk about how to do that. Now, if your courses are still active, meaning still during the grading period, like the last day of the grading period or something, uh, you would go to courses and uh, click on the appropriate course and it's right here at the top under uh, options. Add course to resources pops up here once it loads. Save course to resources. Now if your course is over, you click the drop down arrow by courses, you go to see all, and at the top here you're going to click on archive. Now all of your classes automatically archive when the nine weeks ends, when the, when the grading period ends. Uh, regardless of, of what, whether you uh, act on it or not. So you'll find the history of all your courses in here. And if you go into them, uh, those courses have grades in it, have student interactions in it, have teacher comments in it, have every single thing, rubric scores in it, everything, submissions from students, everything that happened in that course is in there. Now we want to preserve those in the archive, so we're going to leave those here, but when we save the course to the resources, what it does is it takes the content of the course, the assignments, the um, discussion topics and things like that, the grading uh, setups uh, or rubrics, and brings them into your resources to use in new courses. It does not take the student interactions with it, which is perfect. It brings the stuff that you want to reuse in the resources and keeps the stuff that you want to save a record of back there in the archive. I want to go ahead and click on my fake course here, click on section one of the course, and you'll want to do this for each course that you taught unless they are linked. You go to options, just like on an active course, click save course to resources, and then you're going to select exactly where you want to put it. Now hopefully you've developed a spot to put it, which would be uh, what, we, what we did in a separate video. So I'm going to go into my 8th grade math folder, and I'm going to click save as a folder with resources, and click submit. Now, depending on the size of your course and the amount of stuff that you had in there, that process might take you a while to do that. And you can see up at the top of my screen here, it says your large operation is currently being executed. You can access a list of your large operations from your transfer history area. So it won't be done immediately, but at some point in time when you look back, it will be there. Okay, and coming back to this now, I find if I go to my resources and go to personal and go down to eighth grade math where I saved that course. There is that course, and if I click on it to open it up, there are those things that were a part of it before there. Uh, in a next video, I'm gonna show you a little bit more about how to share these resources with other people, how to potentially put them in group resources so multiple people can access and edit them, um, and then later how to add them actually into your new courses.